Welcome to the deep dive. Today we're getting into something a lot of developers think about. Picking a modern terminal emulator. Yeah, it's a crowded space sometimes. It really is. And uh, two names that keep popping up are Warp and Ghosty. Right, both generating quite a bit of buzz. So our mission today is to sort of unpack what makes them different, what their strengths are, and maybe help you figure out which one you know fits your own way of working. Sounds good. Where should we start? Okay, let's unpack this, starting with Warp. Okay. So Warp is built with Rust. That's something you hear a lot about these days, Rust for performance. Definitely. It promises speed and safety. And Warp uses that to deliver this uh, almost graphical feel, right? It's not just plain text scrolling by. Exactly. It feels more like a modern application, less like a traditional terminal. They have these things called command blocks, which um, visually group your command and its output together. Makes reviewing what you did way easier, I think. Yeah, that's a big one. And then there's the AI integration. Right, the AI help. It can suggest commands, maybe even help debug errors right there in the prompt. Mm -hmm. It's like having a little co-pilot built in, which is pretty interesting. What's truly fascinating here, I think, is how Warp seems to be trying to make the terminal, well, easier for maybe people who aren't hardcore veterans. I think that's a fair assessment. It's lowering the barrier to entry, making complex command line stuff feel more approachable, more guided. Like moving from a stick shift to an automatic with all the bells and whistles. That's a good analogy. Lane assist, cruise control. Mm -hmm. It streamlines things, especially for teams or maybe newer developers. Important heads up though. It's Mac OS and Linux only for now, right? Correct. No Windows support yet. Yeah. And uh, it's worth mentioning some power users, the real minimalists find it maybe a bit much. A bit too pretty or heavy is the feedback I've seen sometimes. Yeah, that kind of thing. All those features come with some overhead, potentially. Okay, so that heaviness. Yeah. How does that contrast with Ghosty? It's also built in Rust, isn't it? It is also Rust-based. But philosophically, it's almost the polar opposite. How so? Well, when people call Warp heavy, they might mean resource use or just the visual complexity. Ghosty's whole thing is no fluff, zero. No fluff. So what does it focus on? Speed performance, like yeah. extreme performance and deep customization. That's the core. So we're talking super fast, super snappy execution. Exactly. The kind of speed where there's basically zero lag. It's aiming for that perfect flow state for people who live and breathe in the terminal. So Ghosty isn't going to hold your hand with AI or fancy blocks. Not at all. It gets out of your way. If you're used to warp or maybe more visual tools, Ghosty might seem uh, kind of plain at first glance. But that's the point. Its strength is that stripped down speed and simplicity. Precisely. It's for the developer who knows exactly what commands they want to run, has their setup dialed in, and just wants raw speed. No extra layers. Like a track car, everything non-essential removed for pure performance. Perfect analogy. Ah. If we connect this to the bigger picture, Ghosty is really for those who put raw speed and total control above everything else. So it highlights the split, doesn't it? One path is smart assistance, polished UI. Right. The warp approach. And the other is just raw, unadulterated efficiency. The ghosty philosophy. It raises an important question, really. Which is? How do you, as a developer, balance those things? The appeal of, you know, helpful features versus the absolute need for speed. Is the convenience of AI and a nice UI worth any potential slowdown, or do you strip it all back? Exactly. It forces you to think about what really slows you down or speeds you up. Is it typing commands or waiting for them to run? Is it figuring out a command or just the raw execution time? So we've kind of uncovered that it's not just about features A versus B. It's about these fundamentally different ideas of what makes a terminal good. Mm -hmm. Is it about reducing cognitive load through smart tools or through sheer simple speed? Right. So ultimately the better terminal. It um, just depends, doesn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. It hinges completely on how you like to work, your personal workflow. Do you spend a lot of time exploring, trying new things where maybe warps AI and blocks would save you time? Or are you running the same few commands hundreds of times a day where every millisecond ghosty saves actually adds up? It's worth thinking about. Consider your typical day, what are the bottlenecks? Which philosophy, warps guided experience, or ghosty's raw speed would actually make your day smoother? Yeah, and maybe there's even a middle ground out there. Or perhaps just thinking about this contrast helps you optimize how you use whatever terminal you have right now. A really interesting thing to chew on. What trade-offs are you willing to make for your command line? 